Hey there, what's up, nice people again. Um, back again at it with some more content. I uh, wanted to do a little follow up on my uh, Delica video. I was going over some budget knives and uh, going through my collection again. Some of my first starter uh, Spider Co knives. Uh, this is the Tenacious. Um, this is probably the number one basic $40, $50 Spider Co that um, everybody kind of starts off with. Um, so I'm going to give you the specs. This one is a, again a special edition with the camel and the DLC coated. Um, so this one I'm not sure if it's available but um, uh, the basic tenacious model with G10, black G10, liners, uh, steel, you know, steel liners, um, the same steel and all that, uh, you can pretty much get at Walmart, um, any knife, uh, seller should have it, um, so pretty basic knife to find anywhere. Um, this one, check the centering a little bit here. Centering should be good. So this has been in a box for a while now. Action is good. Good grip. Uh, G10 gives it a good little bit of weight. Um, I can't give you the exact numbers because uh, I don't have them right on hand. Uh, which I should go back and get, or I'll post it later, the weight. Um, I'm going to try to measure it here just with the ruler. Uh, let's see here if I can get this. So it's coming in at right under 8 inches, so about 7 and 3 quarter inches. Um, blade length is coming in at see here right about three and a half about a little over three and a half inches uh, and all that's pretty much all that's cutting all that's cutting blade we really have no choil here so you can kind of get up on the knife that's one thing I did like about this knife is you get a lot of blade here um, and again, it's about a forty to fifty dollar knife, depending on the variations you get on it. Um, but the steel, I think, pretty much stays the same. Uh, where is it at here? The steel is C, you know, eight CR thirteen MOV, which is a pretty basic budget steel. Um, again, uh, I'm gonna do a little quick size comparison. I don't have the actual weight on it. I'll go ahead and post that later. Um, my bad for not having that. I'll do a little quick size comparison with the Delica and the FRN Lightweight Manix 2. Um, I think Slicey Dicey likes that knife, if I'm not mistaken. So that's the size comparison for the Tenacious. The Tenacious being the one here in the middle. Um, so this one came in at seven and a half inches so it's right tad bigger and this one main difference is you have a finger choil here where you can choke up on it and helps to get a better grip on it blade length is about mm, well it's actually a little longer on the tenacious here well, a lot longer blade length but again a lot cheaper steel so for size comparison that's it that. so again here's another quick look at it um, blade stock here compared to the Delica It is about a tad wider.
So it is a little more durable tip. Thickness on it is a little bit wider. So overall, you're getting a more robust knife. Um, so it's pretty much preference. Uh, you can go budget $40, $50 or jump it up a little bit and graduate to, you know, more, uh, actually uh, the way it's, where it's made also too, that has a big go. Uh, this one's made in China. This one's made in Seki City, Japan. So craftsmanship is probably a little bit less than sufficient on this one than as opposed to this one. Uh, more better builds, probably less problems you're going to have with build quality uh, on this knife. Uh, not that you'll have many problems with this one, it is pretty good. I was kind of stiff, can't really fidget with it too much now. Um, so, again, those are the pretty much general specs on it. Um, this is the Digi Camo, which is pretty awesome too. Uh, of course, you've seen this on. Uh, Paramilitary 2 and other knives pair 3 So thought it was real cool. It's just kind of old-school knife for my collection um, So now I'm gonna get into Craftsmanship um, Well, obviously it's a China made knife uh, people have a problem with that um, You know, it's for me a knife is a knife so treated accordingly um, I would say the build quality is good but you might find little problems with it maybe centering uh, this one seems to be okay might have little small issues like that that pop up uh, same thing because it is a, a budget knife so they don't spend too much time on them I guess um, what else here aesthetics I mean I like the look of it the look of it is awesome um, functionality is good you got your uh, here you got a frame lock so you release it by releasing the lock bar inside and closing it uh, you do have to be a little bit careful with this knife which is a uh, kind of a minus for me uh, negative uh, the edge right here um, when you close it you can nick your finger there if you're not careful I did that with the bigger model of this one the um, I think it's the resilience and I literally sliced the front of my finger pretty deep because I decided to close it right on my fingertip uh, not knowing how heavy that blade was so again you got to be a little more careful closing this one so fidget factor is probably flipping it out is about it but again if you want to have a first spider co uh, this is more robust than the Delica uh, obviously more heavier because of the G10 scales uh, I think this one came in at 2.5 ounces this is probably running closer to four ounces. Uh, again, I'll put that spec up later in the video. So, um, you know, affordability. Uh, this knife takes it takes it just for being 40, 50 bucks. Um, if you want a first spider co um, and money's an issue, uh, this would probably be the first one to go to. Um, I really recommend this one though, uh, paying a little bit more and getting a little bit better steel. Um, this steel is pretty, pretty budget, so you're gonna definitely sharpen more. And if you're not good with sharpening uh, and you don't wanna buy sharpening tools, you're probably better off with going to a Delica with VG10 or better steel. Uh, and again, same thing, the weight is better. Uh, this is pretty heavy. If you're okay with the weight, you, you know, tenacious will work. Um, 
but you know these are the two basic iconic Spyderco knives to start off with so uh, again these are both in uh, exclusive uh, metals and also scales um, this one here you can also have four-way uh, pocket clip um, same pocket clip very strong actually this one uh, I believe it's the same one so the only thing is this might uh, snag at your jeans a little bit right underneath the pocket clip because it's running on the G10 but uh, so affordability this takes it um, there is a couple other $40 knives out there like the cut jack but uh, again you're getting FRN skills on it not G10 the weight is better on this one um, this is a flipper this is not the only deployment that that is a spider hole or rolling it open uh, again this is a $40 knife as well but I think fit and finish quality you get um, a little more on this knife if you want heavy duty use uh, this knife maybe more for fidget factor and a little bit lightweight $40 um, it doesn't compare to this FRN which is higher quality uh, steel is better obviously on the basic Delica so if you put these up head to head obviously this is better this is half the price so give or take it depends what you want you have to um, only thing close I had comparable in another brand uh, which is actually one of my favorite knives right now that I'm using a lot is this uh, Lanner uh, in G10 about the same weight um, only thing I like better about this knife is uh, the steel is D2 um, and it is uh, well obviously it's coated too but um, the G10 uh, the ergonomics on it is a little bit better it's a little skinnier I can pinch it um, and really like the flipper so this one ran me about sixty dollars I believe so this is actually pretty close to that if you want a budget knife also uh, but again it's a different brand steel will is a brand for this one I do recommend this one also if you like the G10 um, if you like the FRN I'd say go with this if you want lighter heavier duty comfort um, I mean less money basically if you want to so I'll put these up back to back real quick and show the size on those so these are pretty close in size also but you can tell the that one does get a little beefier so again it's your call if you like them Fidget factor. I say it goes to the lantern, but I definitely like the old school Spider Co. So this got it all started for me, and this one as well. So hope you guys like the video, and uh, I do recommend the Tenacious if your price budget is under fifty dollars. I would say go for this if you can spend a little more 60 bucks ish go for this if you want heavier duty use if you like lightweight maybe with a little better steel VG10 go with the fiber FRN and if you really like the FRN you can go with the $40 cut jack with decent steel D2 and those are it but for now spider co
Um, these are it. These are the basics. Um, hope I got it all for you. And uh, thumb it up if you like. And go get you one of these or any of these other knives if they work for you. But these are my basic spider codes. Oh, one also I did forget to bring out. What I'm going to do next is the Manix 2 Lightweight. Another recommendation of Spider Co. Uh, under 100 bucks. Bigger knife, obviously. Um, more fidgety. Uh, I'll try to get a video out on that as soon as I can, too. So, for now, tenacious. Bam. See you guys later.